Okay, so I guess I'll do a short video on how it performs. All right, so uh, basically I'm running on uh, a computer eighth generation and i7. Okay, you can have the details of it here. Okay, so not very beefy computer, not the latest generation either. And uh, I'm going to run inference. I also have got a GPU, but I'm going to disable the GPU for the sake of this demo to show you how it performs without a GPU. All right, uh, so uh, how, how to do that? What I'm going to do actually is I'm going to download the file which is not bundled with uh, the model okay without the weights okay so to do that remember i told you that uh, all the files of lava they would run uh, on uh, whichever os uh, i've mentioned so uh, uh, in in the demo that you see here on that web page they are doing a demo for windows so this is why when uh, they downloaded the file they renamed it the output uh, was put as an exe file so i don't want that so i want it to be just a uh, llama file here so the first thing that i'm going to do is download that file okay that file yeah is very small has already been downloaded so uh, next thing that i'm going to do is uh, to run to run it with a model that i've already downloaded actually i've got some uh, ggfu model that i've downloaded with lm studio i'm going to use one of them and i'm going to use the latest uh, llama 3.1 that was released so that we don't take too much time and that uh, the demo so that i can post the demo quickly so to do that, uh, this is uh, the command that I will be issuing. So let's go through it. So what I'm telling it is like, uh, okay, this is the executable file. Remember that uh, probably you need to, okay, let me just do that. CH plus X, make it executable after downloading, of course. llama file okay so that's done i think there's a mistake somewhere where it did uh, yeah it's good it's good so now it is executable now i can actually run this this uh, where is it here you go so now I'm going to run this command just to explain. So this is the executable file. I have a switch where I tell it to disable the GPU, not use the GPU, so that uh, you will witness how it performs without using the GPU. Okay. And we'll be able to check here as well that the GPU is not being loaded. So, and then I point it uh, with minus M to the large language model, which is here. So this is the Lama 3.18B model, quantized at uh, four bits that I'm going to load. So this is how I execute it. Here you go. It's running, it's loading, and it automatically opens a web browser for you and connects to the web server of uh, that has been launched by the app okay so as mentioned it launches a web server on which you have a quite nice interface so this is the interface you will be presented with all right there are various things uh, that you can do here like uh, changing the temperature for it uh, not to be too creative as well so yeah i can really fine tune it okay let's put it on to 0 0.1 uh, which should be good 
and then there are other stuff as well uh, case sampling uh, and all that stuff and you've got more options so we can explore that afterwards so basically once you've got uh, this interface on your web browser this is where you will write your prompt okay so next thing that we'll do will okay let's just type something simple write a story about the beautiful beaches of Mauritius in no more than 200 words okay so now we'll see how it's going to perform so i'll just show you that it's not using gpu at all uh, with some commands here okay while it is outputting all right so let me just do a send here and see okay how started generating and uh, what i would like to do also is uh, to show you okay let me bring this up here it continues generating so nvidia smi see what are the processors that are currently using the gpu so you can see there's nothing related uh, to llama file here so it's clean working only on the CPU. If we look at the, the resources on the other hand of the CPU, which we can monitor here, okay, uh, still okay. It's not like it's using 100% of all cores, so some of the cores are free. Memory is cool, we're only using 3.6 GB of RAM. So basically if you've got uh, a computer with not too much memory as well, that, that should run fine. So let's uh, check uh, the content of what has been generated. And uh, okay, uh, the sun-kissed island of Mauritius was home to some of the most breathtaking beautiful beaches on earth so i'm not going to go through all the text so yeah it did generate uh, less than uh, 200 words probably and this is the output and uh, i would uh, let you evaluate on uh, whether it was uh, acceptable as performance or not uh, mind you that this is uh, like uh, a model that is uh, is 8 billion Okay, so uh, it's quite a huge one. So I guess if you run uh, like uh, other models that are smaller, it should uh, be uh, probably more faster as well. So let me see. Olama, a list. Uh, 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 this uh, what are the smaller model that we could have run I guess if we run Pi 3 for example which is 2.4 it would have been much faster as well so here you go guys hope you like uh, this small demo so that you can assess whether it is workable or not cheers for now bye